exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm WLKY Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. A couple of nice events going on around Kentuckiana during the upcoming weekend. Let's check them out. First of all, in Scottsburg on Saturday, from 10 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we have the robotics competition going on. And this is at Mid America Science Park. So if you're planning on participating in that event or checking it out, just something to keep in mind. Registration begins promptly at 7.30 in the morning. Now, in Madison, we have the Veterans Day Parade going on. This is in the afternoon. Starts at 3 o'clock right there on Jefferson Street. Right now, the weather's looking pretty nice as we move through Saturday. Expecting a mix of high clouds and sunshine, and those temperatures will be hovering in the upper 40s. Enjoy Saturday, because it looks like rain will move in on Sunday. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do you say? After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's Jay say? I'm Debbie Crawford and we are here with Miss Narcy Burris and she has an amazing event that she's put up put together her and a lot of volunteers I'm sure so she's going to tell us all about this what is that event this weekend Narcy well since it's uh, Veterans Day we've decided to do a veterans parade again this year uh, the mayor has been very wonderful allowing us to step outside the box being a park department but starting at 3 p.m at the corner of 2nd and Jefferson we're going to start our parade and we're going to go down through Jefferson and go to Vaughn Drive. Oh and then you get all of Vaughn Drive to go down don't you? We'll be going down through Vaughn Drive and have the mm -hmm. river in the background and people can actually park their cars on Vaughn Drive before quarter to three and then that way they can sit in the car and give honor to our veterans right. and also stay warm well yes and then if there's older people or veterans that you know they're some of them don't get around very well right. they can sit there and watch the parade well what so. we're hoping is the veterans will come and be a part of the parade yes. we do have the trolley is going to provide their services and they're going to let any veteran ride on the trolley for free oh that's awesome and we're going to go all the way to Broadway Street and then end at the Brown Gym and now when you're at the Brown Gym, you've got another event going on there. There's like three or four events here. So you've got the parade at three, and then they're going to go down Vaughn Drive and then come back up to the Brown Gym. What are you going to do at the Brown Gym? Well, starting at about 4 or 4.15, I'm going to feed every person that comes to honor our veterans. Now, it's, we're, not, we're not talking about a massive meal here. No. This is a nice, small meal. For everybody that comes in it's actually so. pizza well hey that's <laughs> great our, our pizza places in town have always been very generous yes and they're donating pizza and after everyone has pizza then we're going to go straight into our veterans program now during this program there are some things that you're going to do that are really Im really impressive what are some of the things you're going to cover during the program itself we talk about each of the wars and we also have music from every war era. I have some singers who will sing some songs. And we also recognize every veteran in the building. And then afterwards, we do a candle lighting ceremony. And I'm very touched by how sweet and generous everyone is when we're paying 
homage to those that we've lost, but also to those that are serving now to bring them home safe. Oh, wow. So this event's going to last well into the evening. Well, hopefully so. the program will be over at about 7 or 7.30 because it will be a long day for everyone. It will be. But we're also uh, going to accept Christmas ornaments from everyone who wants to bring one to pay honor to the veterans and their family. Now on those Christmas ornaments, you, you don't want just an ornament. You want something special on that ornament. What is that? Yes, we'd like each of the veterans' name on individual ornaments and the branch of service. Now the county commissioners and the councilmen have allowed us to put a Christmas tree back at the courthouse this year. That's great. And it's going to be a veteran's honor tree. And when they do the light up ceremony the first week of December, the families can actually come and put the ornaments on the tree themselves. So if they are not sure they can be here for that day, they can bring you the ornament either this weekend or sometime between now and the 1st of December. Right. And you'll make sure it gets on there, but they're more than welcome to put it on there themselves. Absolutely. Oh, wow. We're very excited about this. And to top it off, the American Legion, the children yes. of the American Legion, they're actually going to decorate ornaments for people if they would like for the children to do it and they'll put the names on it and everything else. You just have to go to the Legion and tell them the veteran's name. Well, if you if you don't have time or you can't get to it and you really want them to have a, an ornament, there's more than one way to do it now. Absolutely. And if you don't come to the veterans program, right. you're welcome to bring it to the Senior Center. Yes. Now, the Senior Center is located where? I, I get, I hate to tell you all this, but sometimes I can't find the Senior Center. <laughs> It tells my age again, <laughs> but it's really easy to find if you remember what's beside it. And what is that? We're right next door to Hinkle's. Right next door to Hinkle's. That's <laughs> it's always the, the greatest thing. I can say 208 West Main, but if you say next door to Hinkle's, everyone knows. You can find it. Yes. So that's great. Now, is there anything everybody needs to know about Saturday that we haven't already covered? Because we've covered a lot, and I don't yes, know if we've have. missed anything or not. The only thing that I'm really concerned about is at the Brown Gym, a lot of people know our program is upstairs. And those people who can't walk or are in a wheelchair, we do have a lift. And we will get you upstairs so that you can be honored. Awesome. So there's no reason for them not to come. None at all. That's great, Narcy. You all, I know you put a lot of work in on this. And the volunteers, you've... I've been very blessed to have a number of people who want to help. So hopefully it'll be a success. Mm -hmm. We've done this program about seven years. But it's always been hard with a parade because of the time change. Yes. But since it's on Saturday, the mayor said, let's do it. <laughs> That's great. And obviously, it's not going to be dark at 3 o'clock. No, it will not. We hope. <laughs> well, I don't think so anyway. And hopefully no snow. Yes. Maybe just a dusting. <laughs> well. Yeah. That'd be cute. That'd be would. pretty. Make it nice. So, well, Narcy, I really appreciate you being here with us. And this is a wonderful thing that you've put on, you know, you you put a lot of thought into this. My seniors and are very important to all of us. Yes. And it's very important that we pay honor to our hometown heroes. We wouldn't have what we do now if it weren't for them. Absolutely. So we need to remember that. We don't always remember that. That's true. So, well, Narcy, thank you again for being here. I appreciate this. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And as for you all, try to remember that this Saturday at 3 o'clock, they're going to start the parade. And then there's going to be a dinner about 4, 4.15 in the Brown Gym. Try to make it out. And if you know a veteran or you are a veteran, try to get there and um, you're going to have a great time. These people are going to really make you feel special. And uh, so tell everybody about it. And as always, we thank you for watching. <laughs>